Hey guys, it's Carter from Wheel of Fire Alarms here, and today we're going to do some more simplex true alert hacking. So today we're going to have some fun. So up here we have the Simplex 4906-9127 uh, Smart Sync Truller that we all know and love. And guess what we're going to do today? We're going to hack it again. Oh boy. So you've seen uh, me do multiple videos on how I can uh, hack the uh, little sound chip inside to basically become a speaker and basically make the 4906-9127 into a speaker strobe similar to this. However, this time, uh, the video is on how I hack the strobe to free run without having to purchase the SmartSync module. So, uh, the story begins uh, last night at 7 o'clock. I randomly had the idea to connect the light bulb to my Wheelock Sync module. I've had this thing around forever. I bought it um, thinking it was going to be a system sensor sync module, but it turned out to be a Wheelock one. So it's just kind of been sitting here ever since. I use it with my ASs sometimes. But I was bored last night so I connected the light bulb to it and what I discovered is the light bulb stays on when power is connected. But when the relay clicks, the light bulb turns off for a second and then turns back on. So this is basically a coded thing that will code the um, whatever it's attached to uh, like a coded pole station does. So this, this one constantly codes it to the one flash uh, per second. Uh, that NFPA code uh, usually requires. So, um, knowing this, I remember that the SmartSync True Alerts, the way they work is that when you connect power to them without a module, uh, it charged up the strobe, and when you release power, the strobe flashes. So I thought if this cuts power when the relay clicks, then it may be able to charge up the True Alert, and then when the relay clicks, cause the True Alert strobe to flash. Now, wait, 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 wait. Before you scream at me in the comment section that this is bad for the alarm to connect it to a Wheelock sync module, I've done my fair share of research and I've discovered it's just fine. So don't go screaming at me in the comment section, please, that it's bad for the alarm. Um, so that being said, I uh, connected it to the True Alerts and they managed to flash at a rate of one uh, flash per second that NFPA code requires. Just that's if they had been connected to a simplex sync module. It doesn't fix the problem with the horn. Uh, it still it only works with the strobe. But with the horn, I just used the Bluetooth custom voice evacuation message hack. And you know, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this T-bar and you'll see these strobes uh, flashing in sync free run uh, at one flash per second. <coughs> So there's the sync module clicking, and as you can see, I'm not touching anything, and the strobes are free running. And they are in absolute perfect sync. Isn't that cool? Go ahead and silence there. So, if you guys have a Wheelock sync module, you can connect these to a true alert and uh, they will sync up uh, the strobes just fine. So the way I wired it is um, the 24 volt DC goes into the input terminal and then the positive terminal of the true alert ties into the output and the negative terminal of the true alert goes into the minus terminal and then the, out, um, the negative going to the 24 volt DC also goes through the minus terminal. And for the final part of this video, I'm going to pull down the thing and make the strobes free run. And then I have my iPad booted up with the Simplex True Alert uh, tone in GarageBand. And it's going to play through the Bluetooth, which goes into the uh, sound chip there. So we'll have a little Simplex True Alert fun here. So we'll turn up the volume a little bit. This actually gets ear piercing loud, which is pretty great. Hopefully I'll be able to film this. Um, my phone's on the edge of self-destruction, so it may stop filming. But um, anyway, here we go. That's really loud. Yeah, 
And to silence, we'll just push here. And it stops the track. And the strobes keep flashing in their non-manual way, which is pretty great. And we're going to go ahead and just reset the pole station. And I didn't acknowledge or anything, so they just stopped. Well, uh, that's pretty fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. And with that being said, like the video, leave comments, and of course, subscribe to the channel.